frankly disgusting the way the press is able to write whatever they want to write. A few days ago, I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. They are the enemy of the people. Well, that type of talk from President Trump has become commonplace, but it can also be dangerous. The number of journalists murdered last year soared. Now, nobody is blaming President Trump for that, but the Committee to Protect Journalists has issued a new report, and the group says the climate for journalists has become a lot more dangerous, and that President Trump is a factor. Our Dominic Carter spoke with an official from that group. Alex Ellerbeck is with the media watchdog group Committee to Protect Journalists. 53 journalists were killed for their work worldwide. Retaliation murders of journalists nearly doubled in 2018, from 18 up to 34. It's incredibly chilling uh, and shows what a dangerous time this is for the press. Uh, what we've seen is an uptick in the number of journalists murdered. The case most people hear about is Washington Post reporter Jamal Khashoggi. But six reporters died right here in the United States doing their job, according to the Committee to Protect Journalists. And it's June 28th that stands out. Four journalists were among the five people killed by a gunman who opened fire in the offices of the Maryland newspaper Capital Gazette. Another two died while covering extreme weather. While President Trump has condemned violence against journalists, his administration yanked the credential of CNN White House reporter Jim Acosta. The committee notes the president also called journalists enemies of the people. I think the rhetoric is deeply, deeply troubling. It's nothing, you know, we've been saying this for two years. It's dangerous. It's irresponsible. It's upsetting that the most Frequent use of enemy of the people has come since the uh, shooting at the Capitol Gazette in Annapolis. You know, instead of toning down his rhetoric. In October, the president also praised the Montana congressman for body slamming a reporter. Sick and tired, you guys. You just body slammed me and broke my glasses. Pipe bombs were mailed to CNN. In addition, the committee says the imprisonment of journalists is on the rise. The deadliest country for journalists was Afghanistan, where 13 were killed, some in back-to-back -back explosions set off by suicide bombers. And we'll be back to wrap up RFL right after this.